Hi, welcome. If this is your first time to my channel, then don't forget to like and subscribe, and then you won't miss uh, any of the content that I've got planned in the future. So in this video, um, we're making a driver for a piezo uh, buzzer, uh, which also can be used as a continuity tester. Um, so watch, give us a thumbs up if you like it, and leave a comment. Uh, 0 0.01 micro um, microfarad uh, capacitor, disc capacitor. Uh, two 27 kilo ohm resistors, freshly harvested from a old TV. I all these components were, apart from that, that was harvested from an old microwave. Uh, a 510 ohm resistor uh, and two small NPN transistors. Um, doesn't matter about the size of these resistors. It's just the ones that I've pulled from a TV set. Again, the size of these, uh, the specifications of these transistors doesn't matter as long as they're NPN. Anything will pretty much go. And the speaker, the piezo buzzer thing, um, any size will do as, as well. Okay, and um, this will work from between anything between nine and twelve volts. So. 9 volt battery is uh, useful. So I've drilled some holes into this uh, bit of plastic and I'm going to put in the first capacitor here, which is a disc capacitor and its code is 103. I don't know if you can see that. Recovered from an old TV. And that goes into these first two holes here. Then solder in on the other side. And once I solder that in place, then I'll come back to the next part. Next up is the first PN, uh, sorry, NPN transistor. I've drilled three little holes in here and that's going to sit in there. And that will be connected from, uh, if you look on your circuit diagram, if you've got it, the base of it is connected to this capacitor and resistor. Now next up is this uh, 27 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, this connects to the collector of this transistor here. There's a second transistor in Q2, uh, pin 3 being the base, is running over to this um, resistor. Pin 2, the collector, will be running up here to the next resistor. Oop. And pin 1, which is down here, is the collector which will be running down to ground along there. So as you can see, uh, I've connected in this uh, uh, 510 ohm resistor, which is green, brown, brown, gold. Uh, it's a bit of a chunky monkey, uh, but it doesn't matter. It's recovered from a TV. It doesn't matter about the size of these resistors. And that connects over to the positive input and this resistor here. You can see I've just connected them in there. Very simple stuff. Uh, next comes in the buzzer, which will connect onto the ground here and this capacitor here which is that leg sticking up there okay so let's connect the buzzer so that's the circuit built um as you can see we've now got the buzzer connected uh, all the components are in i've got uh, a pair of pincers holding on the positive of the battery so i'm just going to tap into the negative and see let's see if it, it does work you can see a nice tone there. Lovely. So could I use this as a um, continuity checker? Yes, I could. Very simple. Uh, we'll go through that next. I've connected it to a probe I've made uh, in theme with this with my channel, uh, not wanting to use any bought parts or recovered parts as much as I can. I decided to make this probe, and all it is is a ballpoint pen with a nail stuck down the end soldered onto the wire and you can see the other end there comes in with a bit of hot glue in fact I've melted the thing with the hot air now as you can see we've got continuity and we can use that to check any kind of uh, continuity in anything really to check the continuity of this bit of wire here we don't know if it's broken in the middle or not so I'll use our cheap continuity tester and we can see it's got continuity. 
It's a bit scratchy. But if you were to use um, a better probe, uh, you, you get a much better result. Um, but it's a cheap way of doing a, a continuity tester. Uh, come buzzer driver. If you like my video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to download the circuit diagram and follow along as I make this thing, then uh, you'll find a link in the description below. Okay, see you next time.